Hello! So today we're going to learn how to use the woman rig. Now this is actually quite a good rig, I like this rig a lot. Um, and I'm hoping you guys will too. So we're going to start um, by showing the FK. If you don't know what FK stands for, it stands for Forward Kinematics. Which is where you have to bend the limbs independently like this. So that's how I've done it. I'm in pose mode with the rig selected. And I can select the arm piece and I can bend it like this. Like that. But then if I want to bend it outwards, I cannot. Which means if I want to bend the arm outwards, I need to rotate it here. So if I wanted to place hand on hip, I'd pull it all the way in and push it out like so. And then I'm going to press uh, Alt R to reset them back to standard. Now for the feet. Uh, you'll notice that doesn't do anything, that doesn't do anything, and this will rotate the foot, uh, which will mean this one will rotate the leg. Now, moving up, got this part, which controls the leg. You can also use this to shift the leg up and back. So if I wanted to bend the knee like so, I would do that. And I can bend the foot too. And this one is the whole body moving, except the head though. The head stays uh, put it up, and you can move the head with this one. And this one here, this will just shift the lower body, and this one here should shift the top. Perfect. So with that done, we're going to address this part up here. Now. This is an IK controller. So, when these squares are at the top, it is an FK rig. When they're at the bottom, it is an IK rig. So to display the difference, I'm going to switch these both down, but I'm going to leave these ones up. So the left side of the body, this side, is all, or the right side of its body, our left, uh, is an FK rig, and the right side is an, R, uh, is an IK rig. Now, this one that I moved earlier that did nothing, will now control the whole leg. This is probably what you want. You can lift the leg up, and you can rotate the foot, and you have control over it. Now, let's say you want to rotate the knee. It will be controlled with the knee direction, which is this one. Um, depending on where you move it to, or depend on sort of where you want to put that. So let's say I had the leg over here like this, but I want the knee to face outwards. I can do it like that. That is different than this side, because if I move this piece, it won't move at all. And if I wanted to put the leg up like that in here, I'd actually have to rotate it out, rotate it down. And it's actually just a lot more awkward in general to actually pull off the looks that you want. Okay. And with the arm, you also get this control. Um, I don't massively like these controls, but... Uh, they are there. And this piece will rotate the hand still. And now this piece will do nothing. And this piece will rotate that. This I feel like this should do something. Assuming I said oh, I did not. There you go. Now it's controlled with this piece. So now if I move this around, you see it, it's a lot more fluid. And again, we do have an elbow controller, which is a square. And you can move that around as you see fit. So now if I wanted to put the hand on the hip, I would just move this piece to the hip. Then I'd just use the elbow controller to pull it around. That's probably a bit far back. And elbow controller back a bit. There we go. And that is how you use the woman rig in Blender 2.8+. Uh, it should be the same for any of them. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend this rig. This is a very good rig. Um, you have a lot of control over it and the body itself is well made. It, it bends well. You can notice, see on the mesh here where actually sort of you get the proper creases. Uh, the same happens on the foot if I were to bring the, uh, leg up. Uh, if I had, I, oh, it is on. If I bring the leg up. So, but bring the knee properly out. 
rotate the foot around. Go. So you get all the sort of creases at the uh, back of the knee and stuff. It doesn't seem to like being brought up very high on the f with the foot there. That does look a bit off. But uh, oh, something you can do if you use the um, key a lot to bring it down. What you could do is pull all of these down and then make them invisible. Now, if I were to move the leg up or move the arm out uh, and then I do shift um, to select all and then do Alt R and Alt G, uh, it won't move those other parts back, meaning the IK is still in place. So, thank you very much for watching and I hope this tutorial on how to use the woman rig in um, Blender is useful to you. Um, don't hit, forget to hit the like and subscribe if you want more. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful evening.